been a while, huh? Sorry we've had you here so long. See if I can get another chair. Oh, talking to her trying to trying to get an understanding for what happened so so I'm gonna ask you a series of questions after I get some information from you so what is your name Okay. I am Detective uh, Robert Warwick with the Burnham County Sheriff's Department, and this is... I'm Detective Sean Ginn. I work with Rio Rancho Police. So, we're part of the investigative team to investigate, you know, the incident that occurred late Saturday night, early Sunday morning. So, if you can just explain to me um, how you got involved in going to the car or deputies contacted you or yeah, what happened? two officers went to my house. Now it's three o'clock this morning and I was asleep, sound asleep. Right. So I went to the door and uh, they told me that if I had a car by the description, then, and I said, no, I said, this is my car right here, why not drive my house? So he said, well, did you have a car, a red car, you know, with that description? Uh -huh. But they mentioned another name of car. And I said, well, well I had a Mercury. Simple, and I sold it to my granddaughter. She was supposed to fix the papers on it uh -huh. this week. But she had to go get a driver's license, so she got a driver's license this week, as far as I understand. And, and then she was supposed to change the name this week also. All right. And uh, when I told him that, he said, well, your car is in the middle of the street at night. Mm -hmm. So they took me over there to get the car. But then whenever, because I had an extra key. Oh, okay. All right. And uh, so I went to start the car. It was dead. It didn't start. So then I called my son to come, because they said, if you get somebody to take it home, we wouldn't have to take it, haul it up, you know. Mm -hmm. So I called my son, and he didn't answer. I called my daughter-in-law. She didn't answer. And then I called my other daughter. And I told her, tell her, sir, come over here and now. Uh, pick up the car, Destiny had the car, and see you, and, and they left it here on Friday uh, night. Okay. So she tried to call my son, and my son wouldn't answer, so I told her, well, just go on to the house, because the officer was holding the phone for me to talk to her. Oh, okay. His phone. Right. Because I, I didn't bring my cell phone. Mm -hmm. And uh, so finally my daughter said, well, I'm going to have to go to the house and tell Jose, my son, to go and to pull the car to your house, to my house, I'm just here. Okay. And after Did that... Did you try calling Destiny to find out where she was, or...? Who? Did you try to call Destiny while you were there by the car? I don't know. No. Okay. But she... When I was there, when the officer took me to the car to start it, I saw somebody walking across the street from where the truck was, that truck was. Mm -hmm. And uh, I saw her walk... Somebody walking, I think it was her, Destiny. Oh, okay. Walking to the car. So while you guys were there, they showed up in the truck? She walked from the truck across the street, I guess. I, okay. didn't, I didn't even see the truck until I asked her. I said, well, where's Billy? He said, he's over there. And I said, why is he over there? Why did he drive over here? And then the officer asked, well, you know, maybe we could cable the car and you can drive it home. If maybe right. the battery. So about that time, I guess he was calling her from the, from the truck. She went back over there. And a lot, the officer came to me because there was four shots. I don't know who shot. 
that was in, in my car, the Mercury. Okay. The red car. So the officer came to me and told me, you know what, let's get out of here, it's getting dangerous. So he let me walk me back behind his car. Mm -hmm. And then he put me in his car. And I've been there since. Okay. So you were, where were you when you heard the shots? In my car. In the, in the, in in the red car? Yeah. Okay. And did you see, how many, how many officers were there, do you know, when the shots were fired? Two that I knew of, the ones that went for me at the house. Okay. And they were both by you or by the truck, or where, did you see they where were, they were? They were by me. Okay. Did you see where Billy was at that time? No, I didn't. I didn't even know he was, the truck was there. The lady, she was just walking. Oh, okay. Because I saw her walking toward me. But I couldn't see, you know, the truck or anything. So Billy called her back to the truck, you think? Yeah, and then they started arguing. On the phone or by just yelling at her? No, back and forth. Okay. And then after that I heard the shots and her screaming, don't, don't do it, don't do it, Bill. Don't, don't do it what? Don't do that, don't do that. I don't know what he was doing because I couldn't see, but I could hear her screaming. Okay. And all of this time, you're are you inside of one of our vehicles or in the back? Yes. Okay. In the back of the vehicle, inside. <coughs> okay. And then after you heard the shots, then what did you see happen? I didn't see nothing. That officer came for me and took me to his car, behind his car, and then he put me in, in the car. Okay. And then once you were in in the other police car, you're sitting in the back of the police car, I'm assuming, right? In the back? Yes. And then could you see from where you were what the police were doing at that point, the officers? No. I couldn't see because there were so many lights going on. Right. And then could you see where Destiny was? Uh, in the middle of the road until they turned, I guess they told her to go up there, so she sat down on the, on the sidewalk. That's the last time I saw her. She was in the middle of the road where she... Because they were arguing. She went to the truck. Oh, okay. And Destiny and Billy were arguing. Okay. I keep screaming at her. Okay, there's children at your house, correct? Yeah. Okay, whose children are those? Um, my uh, granddaughter and my great granddaughter. Okay. See, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I have guardianship of my uh, my twelve year old. Okay. Uh, That's the twelve year old is your granddaughter. Yeah. And you're the guardian for her. Yeah, the twelve year old. Okay. And then there's a six-year-old? Yeah, she's my great-granddaughter. All right. And she happened to be at the house? She was staying over the night at okay. my house. So who is who is with them now? Uh, my daughter. Are they? As far as I know, because I asked the officer, uh, and she, I said, uh, why don't you take me home and worry about my kids? I right. said, so, well, there's an officer. But an officer stayed there. He says, I'm not going to leave. Uh, I won't leave my alone. He's, because I was going to bring him with me, and he said, I can't put him in the police car. Right. Okay, so the 12 year old, what's her name? Uh, Kiana. How do you spell that? K E A N A. Okay, and her last name? Brule. All right. And that is your granddaughter, but you're the guardian? Yes. Okay. And then the six year old? Soraya. How do you spell that? S Y. What is it? Just say why Soraya. I really don't know. It's okay. And the last name? It's um, Brule. This is Brule. Okay. So the lady that's at your house right now, is that either one of their mother? Yeah. Tiana's mother. Okay. And that's what I understood the last time I talked to the officer that, that, uh, that the mother had gotten there with the kids. So that was the Alma, my, my granddaughter's dot mom. Okay. Okay, and you are Destiny's grandmother. Yeah. She's the uh, Kiana's sister, older sister. Okay. Or were you her guardian too? No. Okay. No, no, she's on her own. She, her dad took her over to California and then she came back to Albuquerque. All right. So what, what do you know about Destiny and Billy's relationship? Do you know anything about it? Only that they fight a lot. Only they teach. Okay. 
But she moved into my house for a while. She didn't have no place to go. And then he came and moved in for about maybe a few weeks. To your and house? And I told her I don't want to hear. It was too violent too. He was mistreating her, hitting her name. Does he actually physically harm her? Like hit her or push her or hold her? Okay. He's a very dangerous man. So he's got bipolar because that's why he's like that. Do you know where he got? Oh, okay. You know, I'm Do you know if he's medicated? I have no idea. Anything else that you think of that you, you would want to talk to me about as far as what you saw, what you think that I should know? Only that he's very valiant and he does drugs. Do you know what his drug of choice is? Like what kind of drugs? I have no idea. Okay. Do you have any questions? They say he's a skinny freak. What is it? Schizophrenic or what is it? Oh, schizophrenic? Were you there when the um, uh, ambulance came? Yeah, but I was in the police car, so I couldn't see anything. Okay. Do you know Billy's family? His mom passed away a year ago, so December. I guess he was living with his parents. With him, with her, but she didn't have his father. Okay, so. Because we need to talk to somebody about his condition, you know, like his family. You, you don't know any of his family. Well, he's got daughters, but Destiny knows the daughters, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I can get information from her. I just wondering if you knew it. So you think his mother's deceased? Oh, yeah. And she died when? I think it was a year ago, December. Okay. And his dad? He's dead, I think. Father's gone. También, I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so he has daughters of? His first wife. Okay. Do you know who she is? I have no idea. So they're like adult daughters? Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to talk to Destiny. Uh, just a few more questions for her. And then we will figure out, um, we'll get transportation for you so you can get back home, so you can take care of your daughter and your granddaughter. Um, and should Destiny go with you? Or I should she go to her? She would go to the house. Because I don't think he's going to get out today, is it? To your yes. house or to her house? To my house, if she wants to go to my okay. house. Because my yeah. daughter, her mom is in my house not, as far as I know. Okay, I don't know what his condition is or what's going on, so... Um, he did go to the hospital, right? Yes. Was this, did he shoot himself or did he shoot him or do you know? Well, that's why we're doing an investigation. So we'll figure out what happened as far as who shot who and what happened, but... Um, I just want to find out from you, you're a little more calm, as far as what we should do with her. I, want her, I don't want her to be by herself. She should go home with me. Okay. Because my mother's my, at my house. Her mother's at your house. Do they get along? Yeah. Okay. All right, Ms. Garcia, thank you. And uh, we'll be back in shortly. Do you need anything? Restroom or anything? No, not right now. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Is it going to be too much longer? No. No. I'm going to talk to her, get a few questions answered, and then I'll just get you ready. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you, ma'am.